In this week's episode, I'm going to introduce you to a tool for your writing and blogging toolbox, Markdown. More in a moment. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Here at Blog Oklahoma, one of my goals is to help you improve your writing and blogging skills. One bit of advice I'd like to give is to do your writing outside of your blogging platform, meaning not typing directly into your platform's editor, you know, in WordPress or Blogger. Instead, do your typing in a separate word processor such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs and then copy and paste your text into your blogging platform to publish. That way you can use the word processor spelling and grammar tools as well as work offline when you need to. Now, one hang up uh, some blogging writers have comes when it's time to formatting that text, such as adding headings, uh, bolding and italicizing, or even creating bullet lists. Working in a word processor, you can do all that. But depending on your blogging platform, some of that formatting doesn't translate across when you copy and paste it in. If your blogging platform has what's called a WYSIWYG editor or a what you see is what you get kind of editor, most of that formatting will work and you can just cut and paste and you're done. But if your uh, platform is strictly a text editor, at that point when you paste it in, all your formatting goes away. And at that point you're going to be formatting all your text inside the platform's editor. Which is fine, but it'll definitely extend your publishing time a little. Or you can format all your text into HTML first, then copy and paste it in. Now, someone who uses HTML on a daily basis, that's not really a big deal for me. But it is time consuming and there's a learning curve. And it definitely makes your text a bit cluttered with code if you have to go back and look at it again. Now, there is a hybrid approach when it comes to formatting text for publishing to your blog. And as a bonus, it'll speed up your writing and it doesn't clutter up your text too much like HTML. It's called Markdown. Many blogging platforms such as WordPress and Ghost already support Markdown either natively or with a plugin. Many other web services like uh, Reddit or Google Plus use a form of Markdown to allow formatting in their posts. I'll provide a link in the show notes to a great article at Daring Fireball that describes Markdown in detail. But to give you a broad overview, all of your formatting is done as simple text as you type. So here's an example. Let's say you want to do a level one heading. In your word processor, you would have to type in the text, highlight it, select heading from a menu item or some keyboard shortcut. In HTML, you would have to type open bracket, h1, close bracket, your text, <laughs> open bracket, slash, h1, close bracket. <laughs> you can see that's a bit long-winded. Now in Markdown, it's even simpler. All you have to type in is type in the hash mark or pound, depending on what you know, you know, shift three. So you type in pound, your text, pound, whoop, you're done. That's your H1 heading or your level one heading. And then you start a new line and you keep and you keep going. So you can see it's really simple. Okay, let's say you want to bold or italicize. In HTML, you would you have a whole bunch of different options. I'll use the simple one. Uh, open bracket B, close bracket, your text, open bracket, slash B, close bracket. You can see it's getting cum cumbersome again. And italicize, that's another one. Let's use the simpler I. Open bracket I, close bracket, your text, open bracket, slash I, you can see, I'm, 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 when you try to say HTML, you can see how cluttered your text is going to get. But in Markdown, all I have to do is use asterisk. If I want to italicize something, I just type asterisk or star, star, your text, star. That word is italicized. If I want to bold, I use two stars, star, star, my text, star, star. That's it. I just bolded my text in Markdown. Very simple, 
very easy to use. So you can see by using the simpler form of formatting, <laughs> it can definitely speed up your typing and you'll still be able to read your text without the clutter of HTML. And when it comes to the uh, rest of uh, markdown symbolism, it's not complicated at all and you'll be able to see the benefits right away once you've learned it. And honestly, the learning curve is not very big on this. Again, um, some of your blogging platforms already support Markdown. Uh, all you got to do is copy and paste the Markdown text in, and you're published. You're ready to go. But if your platform is not Markdown ready, you can still paste in HTML. If you use a Markdown editor, such as uh, MarkPad, which I really like, or Stack Edit, which is an online tool that works with Google Docs, you could do all your typing in Markdown and export as HTML. <laughs> in fact, I used a combination of MarkPad and Stack Edit to come up with the show notes for this very episode. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to use Markdown for the show notes from now on. So there you have it. One more tool for your writing toolbox, Markdown. In the show notes, I'll have links to more about Markdown as well as the other things I mentioned, as well as plenty of bonus material. So please check out the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. This month, I'm taking the Instagram Blog Month Challenge. The Blog Month Challenge is simple. Write and blog something new every day for an entire month. This time, I've added a twist to it. I'm doing all the posting on Blog Oklahoma's Instagram. So please feel free to follow Blog Oklahoma on Instagram. That's B-L-O-G-O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A, -O -O one word, Blog Oklahoma, on Instagram. And why not take the Blog Month Challenge yourself? You can find more details about it at blogoklahoma.com slash blog month. I would like to thank everyone for their patience over the last few weeks. I know we missed a few episodes there. I was really busy, <laughs> and I just couldn't get to the podcast. And I'm uh, still working on a couple of other projects, but I think I'm at the point with them where they're not going to interfere with the podcast anymore, and I shouldn't miss another episode, knock on wood. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're going to look ahead. Here we're at the end of the year and the holiday season. So uh, I'm going to have new episodes out for the month of November and December, except the last two weeks of each month. Uh, the last two weeks of November and the last two weeks of December. Those are both the holiday weeks, and like many of you, I'm taking a break to spend with family. Now, if you would like to know more about what's going on with me, please feel free to follow me on all social media. You can follow me at Blog Oklahoma and Program Witch at both Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and all the other places. And here's something special. If you haven't yet, follow me on Snapchat with Program Witch. That's P-R-O-G-R-A-M-W-I-T-C-H, Program Witch. I post a new story just about every day now. now you grow, once you start using Snapchat, you kind of grow to love it. I don't know what, what's about it, but I just, I've been posting almost every day to it. Silly things, boring life, but hey, why not? So follow me on Snapchat at Program Witch. I'm happy to announce as of November 8th, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 889 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Or check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.